So these are Ghost Tech's Atomic Slim 4 cases for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And they were kind enough to send them out to me to check out and experience and review for them. They do have an affiliate link down below for me if you want to check them out. And you can use code TACO underscore 15 to get an additional 15% off your order. So let's talk real quick about the actual build and design of the case. It is using a multi-layer design, so it does have some plastic as well as some aluminum alloy and also a couple pieces of grip of like a uh, grippiness texture on the case itself. So that allows the case to be actually pretty grippy in the hand. Um, but overall, the case itself is relatively thick looking um, and it's also kind of heavy. So it adds, well, maybe not too heavy, but it adds some weight to your phone. So I think it weighs just under a hundred grams or so. So adding it to your Z Fold 5, it ends up being around, I think, just 250-ish or maybe around 300 grams in total. Um, so it does add a little bit of more weight to your device and also adds definitely some protection and some gripness as well. Um, some other things to note here is that it does use R7X shock absorbing technology. So that means that it's been drop tested up to 12 feet but we'll be the judge of that later. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of a drop test that we did. And it does also raise up the cameras. So when, you know, the camera, when you put it down on a flat surface, it's not touching the actual surface, which is good. But even though it's thick, it's still wireless charging compatible. So if you use a wireless charger, you won't have to worry about whether or not this is compatible or not because it still will pass through, which is good. It does have hinge protection as well. So it does add a little bit of width to the device, which may be good or bad, depending on how you look at it, because the phone itself, the Z Fold 5, is a relatively narrow device, so maybe adding that hitch protection, adding a little bit more of a width to it in your hand may be nice, but something to keep in mind though is because the case itself is relatively thick, um, the front cover experience is, is changed up a bit, meaning that your gestures need to be increased in their sensitivity area, otherwise if you have them set to normal or low, it's gonna be tough to use your gestures. Unless you're using the buttons net for navigation, then you'll be fine. I had to increase my, my gesture sensitivity area because I wasn't able to use the gestures anymore. It was just such a pain to swipe home, to swipe back. It, it just wasn't working with how thick and raised up the uh, case is itself to the screen. So it, it's pretty tough to, to use it. Um, but again, just go into your settings and you can fix that. The, the case also uses adhesives, just like pretty much every other Z Fold 5 case that I've ever owned or Z Fold case in general. So this basically allows the case to actually stay on your phone properly because it is a two piece case. You know, you got your front cover and your back cover slash hinge protection piece. It does not grip onto the phone that well, at least most of cases don't grip on that well. Um, so that adhesive should help keep it attached to your phone. So overall, the case itself is pretty thick. Um, the front piece is the piece that I'm most impressed with just because it's pretty tough. Even if you bend it around, it's probably not gonna break easily unless you give it a few force. The pack piece though is a bit questionable just because I think the plastic piece where you have the little mechanism for the hinge to be attached, it's not the most well-built or maybe it's not the most tough material because it's mostly plastic around that edge. Um, so it, I feel like it's gonna snap if I bend too hard on the case itself. Um, but for the most part, it feels relatively tough relatively thick. I'm talking about the cutouts for the buttons and the ports. It's got all the cutouts for the speaker, the mics and all that stuff. And at the bottom for the USB-C, it's got a decent cutout actually. The whole bottom piece is cut out as well. So if you have a kind of thick cable, it should be able to fit in nicely. But the cutout for the volume locker and the power button is a little bit raised up. And also the case itself is a little bit thick. So the front piece gets in the way a little bit. So when you're going to use that power button and that volume locker, you almost can't press down the whole way. You're just barely clicking on it. And you kind of have to you know, dig your fat finger in there for you to actually press down on it. It doesn't really affect it that much. It just feels a bit weird. And the fingerprint sensor, it doesn't affect it either because as soon as I'm placing my finger over it, it it's always recognizing me. So even if it feels like you're not necessarily touching down on the whole button the whole way, it still seems to be fine. So that's the only thing. It just feels weird, but it doesn't actually seem to affect the actual functionality. So now let's talk about the actual experience of the case on the device. The biggest thing, like I said, was that front cover experience. It kind of made it a bit tough to actually use the gestures. But besides that, once you change the settings, I was honestly fine. I got used to it and it was fine. I do like how grippy the phone feels. Like once you hold it in your hand, the case feels, it feels like it's grippy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of your hand easily. My favorite part is when you open the device, this back hinge piece that protects the hinge pretty much adds on an additional grip for your hand. So basically you grip onto it with your hand, your fingers go onto it, you grip it onto it like that, and you pretty much just can use the phone with one hand now. So before you would have to stretch your hand 
across the whole back of the device and that got tiring and unless you have huge hands then sure it's probably fine but this adds an additional grip and it's really really nice in my opinion so holding it with one hand makes it super easy with that hinge protection piece uh, makes it really nice one other thing i like too is again that hinge protection when you have it in the the flex mode you are able to use that hinge as like a little lift. So it kind of lifts the phone up a little bit. So instead of the phone being completely flat, at least the bottom piece and then the top piece, you have to bend it back a little bit. I found myself not bending or folding the phone back as far back because that hinge lifted it up a little bit. So it was really nice for viewing videos. So it made that whole flex mode experience a little bit better, honestly. So now, lastly, let's talk about the durability. I know we talked about what it's made of and all that stuff and how it's pretty thick but I did do a drop test with this case. I wasn't asked to do it, but I wanted to find out. You know, if you're gonna be spending big bucks on this case, which I saw they go for around $90 or so, and if you get one of the limited edition colors, which by the way, they sent me a couple of those limited edition. And in fact, it's really cool because some of those limited editions actually have the marking and they some of them come up like a ticket of authenticity of what number they are. I think they only made like a hundred of a couple of them. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if that's legit, but that's pretty unique. It also makes me makes me feel kind of special that I got a couple of limited edition colors, but they may range from anywhere from $90 to up to 150 or I think I even saw $200 on some of them. But either way, for that price, I want to know if this case can withstand a couple of drops. So I took it upon myself to do a couple drop tests. I know I wasn't asked to do this, but I, I kind of wanted to know. So I took it outside, I did it on concrete. So take a look for yourself. All right, so this is a uh, drop test of the Atomic Slim 4 for the Z Fold 5. So first, I guess we're gonna do kind of like a from a sitting position. So I'm sitting down and I go to take my phone out and I drop it. You know, it's got some scuffs now on the aluminum alloy. Got the paint checked off. So let's do one more, one more. So again, you know, taking it out of my pocket and then, oh shoot, it falls. Again, it's scuffed a bit. Hinge plastic pieces scuffed. So it's scuffed, but now it's kind of like from a standing position. I'm about five foot 10, just uh, for uh, reference there. So say I'm taking it out and, uh, and I just drop it. Oh, landed right next to me. Once again, it's just a bunch of scuffs. So nothing crazy going on here, which is good. So now let's do one more. Let's do one more drop from, from the pocket. Taking it out, slips out. Took a nice bounce there. Again, just some scuffs, but the good thing is, is that the case has not popped off, which is the important thing. And it's got the hinge protection too, and it's not opening up, which is good. So, so far, no damage to the phone, which is good. So now, this one I'm a little scared for, but seeing what happens when Anyway, it's, it's, it's from, from this position. So say you're on your phone from like mid height position, you know, you're on your phone and then I don't know where it slips out. That is not good. The case did pop off, but the phone is fine. It's got just some stickiness from the residue but the case did pop off. I guess we could do one more since we did two, you know, with out of pocket. So right now from mid height, it does seem to fall or the, the case seems to pop off. So one more shot here, mid height position, you're using it and then you drop it. Okay, that one's a little bit softer and it did not fall off. So that one was kind of okay. So you know what? Let's risk it, let's risk it, let's do it, let's do it. So from head height position, you know, you're on the phone or something and it slips out of your hand. Once again, the case does pop off. And the phone itself is just fine. I did have a little scare there because there was a little piece of white plastic on here, but we're good, we're good. Actually, I think I'm gonna scuff the glass just to show you here. 
Um, it's the bottom lens. The, the lens is cracked there. So that's a, that's a shame. The, the atomic slim let me down a little bit there. That is a massive shame. But the rest of the device is fine. Like the, there we go. And the quality seems to be okay. I mean, like it doesn't affect the picture quality. At least it looks like as of right now. Uh, I guess we'll see down the line what what's gonna happen with that. But, but yeah, risk the biscuit for you guys. So that's that's something to keep in mind um, for the Atomic Slim Four. So real shame. So yeah, as you saw, the case does seem to pop off a little bit now there may be different variables here and uh, factors that may not be realistic number one being that dropping it that many times consecutively so it may be because I dropped it so many times that eventually that adhesive just started to wiggle off maybe a little bit um, and also the back piece adhesive isn't as long I should say as the front piece is so the front piece didn't fall off at all and it just stayed on the whole time which is pretty impressive because I actually thought it would be the opposite of way, way around I thought the front piece would fall off easily and not the back piece but either way um, I think because the adhesive is not as big it doesn't stretch across the whole back or the whole side of the device either so I definitely think if they could make the adhesive a little bit bigger it may have stayed on better and maybe add a couple more spots of adhesive like at the top and at the bottom just to make sure it's on there properly um, but besides that uh, because the back piece fell off when the phone fell and it bounced up and it skid across and hit the concrete side I, I was hoping that it would land and skid across on the front piece side but either way because of that you know it ended up you know leaving a mark on my actual z45 so at least the case took the hard impact and it did scuff up the case pretty well. Like the aluminum alloy got scuffed, the paint chipped off, a couple of the plastic pieces uh, got scuffed as well, the hinge got scuffed as well. Um, so it definitely can take a couple of blows, but it's, it's something to consider and keep in mind as well that the back piece may be a vulnerability with this case as a whole. But I still think it's pretty overall pretty tough because I don't think the Samsung case would have been able to withstand all that, especially not the front piece. I definitely think that front piece would have either cracked, snapped, or just fallen off completely. So there you have it, that's Ghost Tech's Atomic Slim 4 case. And as far as if you should go out and get one, they're priced pretty much similarly to what every other Z Fold case seems to be priced around. I think it may be a little bit more expensive, honestly. Like I see some cases for like maybe 40 to $30, up to 50 but will it be the same quality? Honestly, I'm not entirely sure because I haven't used them, I haven't compared them to them. But for this price, it seems a little bit overpriced. But you do have, again, that 50% off discount if you want to get one yourself. So be sure to use the affiliate link down below if you want to use it and get your own Ghost Tech case. And be sure to use code TACO, all uppercase underscore 15 to get 50% off your order. So with that being said, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed and peace.